Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. What I have today is the Quick Stove Cube Stove, a really neat design that is meant more for survival type situations because this is not a stove that I would consider taking with me backpacking simply because it is in its smallest form right here and it weighs close to a pound by itself, which is a little bit more for a stove than I would want to carry. But I wanna talk about how cool this thing is for prepping and car camping and just general survival type situations. Uh, really good for a 72 hour kit as well. So Quick Stove has created this and made something that is really versatile. So you're looking at the stove in its smallest form. So it's a nice, cube here you've got a lot of uh, cutouts and things in here so what they say you've got are seven different cooking positions so you've got a cooking position here with it closed and you can do grilling on it if you open these up then you've got the kind of standard setup for what you would expect to do for a lot of the cooking so they also include this plate down here in the bottom, which allows for a lot of different versatility type situations. Uh, you can set these cooking or these fire starter discs on there and that will allow for a longer burn time. You can also keep it down in the bottom and use an Esbit style cube to be able to cook with it that way, which I'm gonna demonstrate here in just a minute. You can also set the the plate on top of the rivets here on the side and you can set an alcohol stove right there and that'll give you kind of a pretty decent height for that. You can also set the alcohol stove uh, lower into the stove as well on the bottom. You've also got the option to turn it on its uh, top like this or you can put your pot on like that. So. A pot of this size works really well, or you can set it straight down on top of this piece and you'll get a really good cooking service surface that way as well, using a really small uh, pot, something like a Tokes titanium, like a 700 milliliter or something like that. So, cube stove, really cool. You've got all sorts of options for how you might use this. You can use uh, wood and charcoal briquettes and alcohol and esbit cubes and these cool fire starter and emergency heat source type fuel discs that are made from a like wax and uh, a cedar from what i understand so these burn really well just a really cool stove so what we're going to do right now is it's snowing outside and it's cold so i am going to go ahead and we are going to put the plate down in the bottom and I'm gonna boil some water with the alcohol stove. So I'm just using denatured alcohol in a pop can stove that I built. We're gonna set that down inside of there. We'll grab the lighter and we're going, cool. While we wait for the alcohol to heat up and, and start doing its thing, let's go ahead and fill this because I want some hot chocolate. Time to warm up the body. All right, so as that is getting warmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and set this kettle on there. Let's see how we're doing. Alcohol stove is actually burning really well. So let's check to see if we're boiling. Oh, we got a boil. Sweet deal. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my hot cup of Hot chocolate going. Scoop that into the to the mug. Oh yeah, this will be good. Dump this in. It's a nice day to be out in the mountains. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and light a nice little fire in this because I am hungry and would really like to eat some food, so let's open this up. I'm just gonna break a small chunk of this off because I don't wanna use all of that. The wood that I'm working with is pretty wet, so 
we'll get that going. I am keeping the plate down on the bottom because this is sitting right against the snow, so that's not going to get any uh, airflow under that anyway. So what I'm going to do is just feed this with the wood that I've got because I am going to make me some hash browns and some eggs for breakfast. So it doesn't really matter how you feed this. I'm just going to make it so the, the wood will hopefully start drying out. But because you've got about a, a four inch by four inch square, you do have a lot of space to be able to put quite a bit of wood actually. So we're going to let that get going. All right guys, so here it is, the quick stove cube stove. I am going to go ahead and start cooking on this. It's starting to rain a little bit more, but really cool stove. I'm impressed with how well it stands up, especially in the snow as it's melting and such underneath. Uh, unfortunately, the wood that I was burning uh, was a little too wet. So I'm actually going to be using the uh, fuel discs for this to be able to do the cooking that I want to do. But a really cool stove. I think it's just a fantastic option for somebody to put into their survival kit, 72 hour kit, uh, and keep it so that you've got different options of fuel that you can use on it. So really cool stove. Definitely check it out. So it's quickstove.com. And uh, I'm going to keep using this thing. I'm going to cook myself some hash browns and some eggs right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hope you have an awesome day.